Number 10. Animal Rain Animal rain is one of the rarest and most unbelievable natural phenomena in the world, and yet it's 100% real. Animal rain refers to an incredibly rare meteorological event in which animals literally rain from the sky. What kind of animals? Well, mostly fish and frogs. The first documented case of animal rain was in the first century AD, when fish and frogs supposedly rained over the Roman Empire. But that was hardly the only incident. Animal rain happened as recently as 2009, when dead tadpoles and fish rained down on the Japanese prefecture of Ishikawa. Then there was Louisiana in 1947, when fish rained down so heavily that cars and trucks were running them over. But animal rain is not some kind of magical event. It happens because of gusts of violent wind, which throws animals into the sky and sweep them into the atmosphere, where they eventually rain back down to the ground when the violent winds disperse. There are also several types of tornadoes called water spouts that form over bodies of water, and these can sometimes suck fish and frogs out of their natural habitat and deposit them far away from where they were originally stolen. Number 9. The Eye of the Sahara The Blue Eye of the Sahara is a very special geological formation found in the Sahara Desert that looks a lot like a giant bullseye. The formation is about 25 miles or 40 kilometers wide and contains rocks that apparently predate the appearance of life on our planet. It's situated in Mauritania, in northwest Africa. The eye is visible from space and has actually been used as a visual landmark for astronauts making the journey to and from Earth. But the way that the eye was formed is simply fantastic. Most geologists today agree that the eye was formed when the supercontinent Pangaea began to pull itself apart. This was many millions of years ago, as the Earth's tectonic plates have shifted many times since it first formed. The Eye of the Sahara was first photographed by the outside world in the 1960s, and until then had only been known by the local nomadic tribes. Geologists first believed the Eye of the Sahara was an impact crater, created by something from outer space, but we have since learned that it's actually a geological dome. The rocks inside the formation are about 100 million years old, and some even older. As Pangaea was breaking up to form the continents of our Earth, the Atlantic Ocean started flowing into the Sahara Desert. As Pangaea continued to pull apart, magma from deep inside the Earth pushed outwards and formed a huge rocky dome. The Eye of the Sahara is the scar left behind from this world-changing transformation. Number 8. Chocolate Hills The Chocolate Hills of Bohol consist of 1,268 hills in the country of the Philippines. These strange geological formations have been baffling geologists for years. The hills vary in size from between 90 feet or 27 meters to about 400 feet or 125 meters in height, and they basically look like thousands of molehills stretching into the distance. What's really unique about the hills is that they're all covered in nothing but grass. The hills appear chocolatey during the dry season, kind of like unwrapped Hershey's Kisses. Trees grow on the ground between the hills and at their bases, but there are no trees at all on the actual hills. Instead, the hills are covered in a few different grasses and ferns. The most popular geological theory for why the Chocolate Hills of Bohol exist is that they are the result of prolonged weathering of marine limestone. Experts believe the hills may have formed from uplifting coral deposits that erupted from the floor of the ocean hundreds of thousands of years ago, and have been molded into the shape of Hershey's Kisses by years of rain. Whatever the case, the hills are incredible. There is nothing else quite like them on the planet. Number 7. Lake Baikal's Turquoise Ice The turquoise ice of Lake Baikal is one of the most spectacular natural phenomena in the world. Lake Baikal is the largest freshwater lake in the world. Located in Siberia near the city of Irkutsk, the lake contains roughly 20% of the fresh water on Earth and is home to at least 2,000 different types of flora and fauna. It's also the oldest freshwater lake anywhere on the planet, dating back around 25 million years. It's the largest and the deepest, and in the winter, it's renowned for its startling turquoise ice, a color of ice that is not found anywhere else in the world, at least not naturally, that is. So. How does Lake Baikal do it? Well, the turquoise color is possible because of just how clear the water in Lake Baikal is. The lake isn't polluted in the slightest, 
meaning that when the lake freezes in the wintertime, massive shards of transparent ice turn either see-through blue or straight-up turquoise. Have you ever seen crystal clear ice or seawater? Where did you go to find it? Did you go for a swim in the water at all? Tell me about the experience. Leave a comment with your story down below. But first, remember to subscribe to Taltanic if you haven't already for more exciting videos just like this one. Number six, snow chimneys. In Antarctica, there's a natural phenomenon known as a snow chimney. Snow chimneys are huge towers of ice and smoke that can be found near Mount Erebus, a volcano that tends to spew out hot gas and lava on occasion, positioned just above the McMurdo Station research site on Ross Island. Gas and heat seep through the sides of this giant mountain of fire and cause the nearby snow to melt. All of this melting creates ice caves along the sides of the mountain and along its base. These caves are then heated from the constant warmth of the volcano. Hot gases, including steam, force their way out of the caves, but the steam freezes the second it hits Antarctic air. The freezing steam creates a natural chimney of ice, some of which grow up to 60 feet or 18 meters tall. The area around Mount Erebus turns into a Dr. Seuss dreamland when the volcano erupts, with steam vents built from ice dotting the landscape. Number 5. The Wulingyan National Forest The Wulingyan National Forest is known as the Avatar Forest. If you went back in time and watched the movie Avatar again, you would recognize this place immediately. The setting of the movie was actually based on a real place in the world, the Wulingyan National Forest. The forest here is made up of thousands of sandstone spires that formed about 400 million years ago, through one of the most unique geological events in the history of the Earth. The result of this event can still be seen today in China. These spindly towers of sandstone are a huge tourist attraction. There are cliffside walkways, gondolas that can bring you through the shifting fog from one pillar to the next, and viewpoints that will make you sick with vertigo. It's truly a remarkable, one-of-a-kind place on Earth. But how could such otherworldly monuments form naturally? Well, the towers were formed from extreme ocean pressure. The entire area used to be underwater. Iron and quartz and sandstone formed a very dense layer at the bottom of the sea. The ocean eventually vanished. There was a sudden explosion of earthquakes, tectonic shifts, and erosion from glacial carvings. And the end result was that the huge sandstone deposit was broken apart into thousands of skinny stone towers, which still stand today. Number 4. Pyramid Clouds Clouds can form all kinds of silly shapes, but the coolest natural phenomenon that occurs with clouds is when they form super formations like the pyramid that was recently photographed hovering above Mount Fuji in Japan. The cloud formation is known as lenticular, and it was able to form because of special minerals inside the mountain that contain superconducting elements to create vortex waves. These vortex waves slice an ordinary cloud into fragments that look like disks, and they get smaller as they rise. The end result is what appears to be a pyramid of clouds hovering over the tip of Mount Fuji. It's not mystical at all, though it looks like something totally out of a movie, or caused by supernatural phenomena. These cloud types are fairly common, though they are only ever seen above volcanoes or mountains. Because lenticular clouds are colder and denser than the air surrounding them, if there is no strong wind to move them, they will just hover forever in place without changing or dissipating. Number 3. Volcano Lake Inside the crater of the Kawaijin Volcano in Indonesia, there's a turquoise lake unlike anything else in the world. According to the NASA Earth Observatory, it is the largest acidic lake in the entire world. This magical lake has a pH level of as low as 0.13 at the center. That's insane. Lemon juice has a pH of 2, which is fairly acidic, but nothing compares to this. It also means the water inside the lake is almost 10 times more acidic than some types of battery acid. If you fell in, you would perish immediately and your body would disintegrate in the corrosive water. Clearly, it's a very good idea to stay far away from this lake. And if someone offers you a drink from it, just say no. But how does the lake get its beautiful turquoise color? It's actually because of the different materials that have dissolved in the water over the years, specifically hydrochloric acid and sulfuric acid. This is generally what happens when a lake forms inside the bowl of a dormant volcano. Number 2. Fairy Circles the Namibian Desert Fairy Circles are small and 
very strange. In the Namib Desert, there are bear circles all across the landscape that look like little cigarette burns in the sand. There are thousands of them, and for the longest time, researchers didn't know what to make of them. The circles appeared to be random, they didn't seem to have any purpose, and it almost looked as if some kind of cosmic storm had rained down asteroids all over the desert, and these circles were their leftover craters. However, there have been some interesting theories put forward that could explain the fairy circles. One of the prevailing theories is that termites live underneath the soil. The termites worked to clear small patches of vegetation to create a permanent reservoir of rainwater that would seep to them below the surface, allowing them to sustain their little termite cities. However, that theory might not be correct. According to New Scientist, researchers working in the Australian outback have also found fairy circles, but no proof of any termites, adding more to the mystery of these seemingly inexplicable circles in the desert. It seems like these circles have to be caused by some type of natural phenomenon, but researchers haven't proven anything conclusively. Number 1. Dust Storms Dust storms are some of the craziest things that happen in nature. They're kind of like sandstorms, but even worse. In 2021, Beijing and other parts of China were hit by the largest dust storm of the last decade, with six people dying and 81 people going missing in Mongolia. Now, even though it was reported by the news as a sandstorm, in truth, it was a dust storm. The difference between the two is that sand is much thicker than dust. The particles just aren't comparable. Dust particles are significantly smaller and are able to travel much farther. Dust particles are also able to get lodged firmly in your lungs, a lot easier than sand particles can. But just wait a minute. Because before you start talking about global warming, it's important to know that dust storms have ravaged China, or at least the area of the Earth humans now call China, for millions of years before humans ever made their appearance. During ice ages, massive volumes of dust were generated by advancing and retreating ice sheets, and all this dust settled over millions of years to form what is today known as the Chinese Lowest Plateau, an area larger than France and about a thousand feet or 300 meters thick of dust. Alas, there's no sand apocalypse to be afraid of. Some studies have suggested that dust storms are increasing, but others have suggested they're decreasing. The truth is that dust storms are horrifying when they happen, like a blizzard of sandy particles that can choke people to death, but they are fairly rare. What's the coolest natural phenomenon you've ever seen? Let me know about it in the comments and thanks for watching. Be sure to hit the subscribe button for more awesome videos from Tall Tannic.